In this video, we are going to add nozzle flexibility to the anchor point or the node number 90. Now, when we created a node 90 with an anchor point, it generated some high stresses, um, forces and moments on the node number 90. So, to eliminate the high amount of stresses, we are going to change the restraint of anchor from it being uh, anchor to a nozzle flexibility. So we'll first delete the anchor point here and we'll say that this point is actually on the vessel which has a nozzle on it. So let's add a nozzle to it. We'll say that the nozzle type is WRC297. Nozzle node is 90. We don't have to add a vessel node because we are just saying that the nozzle node 90 is the vessel direction cosines so we are saying that the vessel is going vertically up in y direction so we are just saying one so the vessel is going vertically up the outside diameter of nozzle is the same as that of pipe and the wall thickness is 10.312 we can increase the thickness of this one because sometimes the nozzles are made at uh, as a thicker wall than the pipe so, so let's say this is 17.4052 millimeters distance to stiffener or head so it is asking us how far is this nozzle nozzle from the head of the vessel so we are saying that it is 1500 millimeters from the top and 2500 from the next stiffener it is asking us the vessel outside diameter and we'll say that the vessel outside diameter is uh, 2000 millimeters. Wall thickness of the vessel is 12.5 millimeters and this nozzle is situated on a, a vessel with a pad with thickness of 12.5 millimeters as well. Temperature and the material for the vessel are optional, but if we want we can add them here We are just going to say it's a low carbon um, It's a low carbon uh, Material for the vessel now Once when you add this thing you won't be able to find out the flexibilities on the nozzle the only way to find flexibility for this nozzle is to run the uh, error checker so Let's run the error checker and it will tell us all the different uh, things that we need to know. Right now it is saying that the WRC nozzle for the data uh, for the node 90 are as per this and the, uh, the flexibility factors are has been calculated and they have been added at the nozzle junction. In here it shows the actual stiffness, the longitudinal bending stiffness, the circumferential bending stiffness and all the parameters that are required for the flexibility of the nozzle. That's how we add nozzle flexibility to the system.